This is where it leaves Wolves in eight, 46. Five points off Arsenal have played three games more. They were always outsiders, so you've ruined yeah. them completely out now. You know what? Three weeks ago, they... They were right, they, in, they they? Were right in there, Stephen. We were wondering, could they, could they possibly sneak into that top five, top four? And I think they've just come up a little bit short. They're a good team, they're a really nice team, but they don't quite have enough at the top of the field in terms of their goals. If they mm. had another one up there with yeah. Jimenez, righty, Maybe, yeah. then I think they might be a threat to some of those above them, but not quite. It's, it's the same with like West Ham. We could say the same about West Ham. I know they're doing their stuff in the Europa League, but they kind of seem like they're, they're falling off that a little bit. And I think it gets to this stage of the season where the strength of your squad is going to keep you there or you're going to kind of fall away. Yes, West Ham have got di um, bigger fish to fry at the minute, but Wolves, you can see that and without Jimenez as well, without the goals and that threat, they won't be able to stay with no. those guys going for that top four. OK, so Arsenal in the box seat, and this, remember, is the team today that will try and get back to winning ways against Aston Villa. And there are a couple of very important headlines. Aaron Ramsdale, who of course made that error against Liverpool in the week, has a hip injury. So Bern Leno starts in the Premier League for the first time since August when he conceded five away at Manchester City. Martinelli is ill. So Emil Smith-Rowe, the top scorer, the only Arsenal player in double figures uh, this season, comes in. Mm. The obvious question is the, <coughs> the goalkeeper. Big yep. day for Burnt Leno. Very big day for Burnt Leno, but remember, he was uh, Arsenal's number one for a while. Aaron Ramsdale's come in, and rightly, he's taken that mantle because of the way he's performed. Um, yes, with his distribution, we're going to miss we're going to miss that. The same with um, a Martinelli. He's ill, but you know we've got someone like Emil Smith-Rowe who knows exactly how to play in this form. But it shouldn't affect the team too much in respects of what they're going to try and do and how they're going to try and play. Obviously, those, they're two dynamic players. So Bernd Leno's going to have to come in and hopefully he's up to speed. But Emil smith rowe has got a point to prove. Being on the bench, he wants to be starting. He's got a chance, so you hope he can, uh, he can take it. You know, I watched the, the game against Liverpool. There, there wasn't a tremendous amount in it. First half, I thought Arsenal played quite nicely without really looking like they had that absolute cutting edge you need to beat the best teams. And so it proved at the end of the night. But, uh, but, but they're a decent team. They're making progress. That's an interesting one, what Ian says about the goalie. Because, uh, I beg your pardon, Ramsdale's been so good with the ball at his feet and so confident and so capable. Mm. Will Arsenal go back to him like they've been going back to Ramsdale today? Will Villa be aware of that? And was that something they're going to go after? Because Leno's never looked quite so good in that respect. No, no, no. I think up. it's one of the things, and when you watch teams, he was targeted. Would they really push tight on him? I feel Cedric, as well as he's done going forward for a Suarez, he's somebody as well. With you know, I feel that they can get at us um, if they go at them. So it's going to be an interesting one because it's a game I believe coming off of the Liverpool game. And Andy's quite rightly said, brilliant first half, but we see what our shortcomings were against a team of that caliber. But today we have to kind of we have to win if we want to stay in amongst it. And, it, and on that then, are we going to learn arguably more about Arsenal today and these youngsters, whether they can recover and deal with the expectation now? They're in the box seat. Yeah, I think, I think, we, can, I think, I think we have learned a lot already, Steve. I think they are capable of staying in and around where they are. Um, you know, whether they finish fourth or whether they're just outside of that, look, it's going to be nip and tuck all the way in. I think... I think they've stepped up. I think they're under more pressure earlier on in the season and stepped up. Smith Rowe, Saka, those boys. Martinelli of late, has, I think, has looked good. The back four has been regular with Ramsdale. That's a change today. Partey, I just said to Ian as we were coming into the studio, Thomas Partey now looks like he's now adding plenty to the Arsenal team, as we all thought he would. So I think they have stepped up. Um, but it's at that stage of the season now where you can't afford to slip up. No. They've got to make sure they got to bounce back today. I think as well, you look at the, the bench, um, when you really want a change, a difference off the bench, and what we saw for Liverpool is obviously they were able to bring on Salah. Yeah. And Firmino, you know, I mean, we're talking about a team that's so far in advance of what Arsenal are doing, and Arsenal yeah. are on the road. But what, how he's playing and what he's trying to do, obviously, more goals are needed in this team, more chances, more, um, more I don't know, sharpness in that final third, Steve, because... We needed in that first half against Liverpool to take that chance. We're going to probably need to do the same against Villa because Villa will try and, and put pressure on this team. They'll really go at them to see if, being the youngest team in the league, they can respond to that. And talking of Villa, of course, they're looking to get back to winning ways as well. That's just some thoughts from inside their dressing room. Rio